Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos of inspiration, education, explanation, guidance, uh, and advice to uh, Bali Chuva, Jews who are returning to Judaism, converts to Judaism, Gerim, and also uh, Noahides, B'nai Noach. Um, and uh, I want to talk this morning about the concept of uh, blending in uh, socially um, with uh, the culture around you. And specifically the uh, commandment in the uh, book of Leviticus, uh, chapter 18, verse 3, which uh, point out in particular, don't adopt the practices of Egypt and of Canaan, Canaan. And so you might ask, um, why these two nations? Why Egypt and Canaan? I mean, why not uh, all the other nations that were around at the time? Uh, the Greeks, the, the, the Babylonians, why? Well, uh, if you look at the wording of the commandment, uh, it gives a hint as to why. Do not perform the practice of the land of Egypt where you dwelled, and do not perform the practices of the land of Canaan to which I bring you. And I think this is the key. Uh, we may have thought, well, we lived in Egypt for a couple hundred years, and uh, we're going to be uh, living in uh, Canaan and what will eventually be the land of Israel um, for, 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 for many, many uh, thousands of years. Uh, you know, it's maybe okay to, to adopt the practices. You know, when in Rome, do like the Romans. It's, um, it's hard to be in a country and be different uh, than other people, especially visibly different, to walk around with a a skull cap and a beard and to dress modestly and uh, maybe to have, you know, payas to where it sits as fringes. You stand out, especially in a society that uh, that views uh, an, uh, another kind of conformity uh, to whatever is popular, whatever is fashionable, as, uh, as very desirable, as very, uh, uh, as a, a great thing to do. It's tough to do that. Jews may have thought, well, you know, we're going to, to Canaan. You know, uh, maybe it's uh, okay to follow their traditions. God makes a point of saying that um, although it's difficult to ignore the lures uh, of, the, uh, of the environment, a Jew needs to rise above uh, his surroundings and to cling uh, close to uh, uh, Hashem, to the Creator, to Torah, and to mitzvahs. It was Rav uh, Moshe Feinstein, Oliver Sholem, uh, may his memory be blessed, uh, that notes that these two nations, Egypt and, uh, and Canaan, were noted, they were famous for their immorality uh, and um, their obscenity, even by the Gentile neighbors. Um, they were viewed as like being like beyond the pale. Uh, later on, uh, during the time of the uh, uh, second Besamigdash, during the time of the Roman Empire, um, Rome, which was an idolatrous society, hated Egypt and Egyptians because uh, even to the Romans, the Egyptians were like idolatrous uh, to the extreme. They had a very uh, immoral. Uh, immoral lifestyle. They just You might think that the, the Romans uh, hated the Jews. Uh, Romans hated everybody who wasn't Romans, but there was a particular hatred uh, of Rome for Egypt. So Egypt, Canaan, even by local standards, they were, uh, they were like uh, pretty much out there. This provides an important lesson to us. Um, it's wrong to emulate uh, the practices of evil nations and uh, that are steeped in vulgarity and uh, licentiousness. So, you might think, well, don't adopt the practices of evil nations. Well, what about great nations or not so bad nations? What about Canada, the United States, Australia, Britain? They're not evil nations. Everything's fine. And why not 
why not blend in there? Um, they're not evil by nature. We just want to have a good time. What's wrong with that? Are we permitted to act in a contemporary, modern way to dress and act, to speak, to live um, differently? Are we allowed to relax the, uh, the terms of the commandments uh, that are set upon us uh, by God? By pointing out uh, the two worst examples, Egypt and Canaan, the Torah is giving us a lesson um, that these societies didn't start off evil. They descended into evil. And uh, similarly, uh, by adopting practices, customs, traditions, lifestyles that are not our own, uh, that is, there's a, lot, <laughs> there's a lot of cliches about this. That is the uh, slippery slope, the thin edge of the wedge. You start going down that hill and uh, the descent can be uh, can very uh, can be very quick. Um, the first error, a slight deviation uh, from Torah, uh, ultimately uh, can lead to uh, a complete spiritual uh, and moral degeneration, as happened in Egypt and Canaan. Jews must always be on guard because today's error could be tomorrow's Avera sin. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, more uh, videos along these lines. I hope you find them inspirational. I hope you find them uh, uh, of some use. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.